It's a frosty, frosty morning. Look at that. These artichokes are glittering in the frost. And the grass is all frosted. The sun has come up. This is when the danger zone for frosted plants are because this is when their cells burst. So if this frost leaves these plants leaves before the sun hits them, their cells won't burst. Look at these. All f hit by the frost, leaning over. Look at that frost hit, all leaning over, frost hit, their heads bowed to the power of frost. Look at these. Now these are hardy plants and see their heads are even bowed to the frost. The tulips, look at all these tulips, their heads bow to the frost. These are all kind of curled up slightly because of the frost. But hopefully, hopefully the sun, the frost will leave before the sun hits them to burst their cells. These are all frosted. Look at that tulip, frosted frosted. I think this is rather lovely. It looks great against the uh, black of the tank. Oh, hey, Kitty. How are you? How are you? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oop. Dogs and cats. Everybody's talking to me. Anyway. The real worry are these guys. See, those are all frosted, but hopefully a lot of them got pollinated. See, these ones got pollinated before, and that you can see the fruit is growing underneath it. So they got pollinated before they were frosted. And we don't know about these ones. Those were all pollinated. You can see the fruits are forming fruits are forming under them. Up here is my lobster claw. Covered in this fleece. So hopefully it will be okay uh, under the fleece. I'm not going to open it yet because everything is still very, very frosty. Look at that, all oh, very frosty. Woo! Before 7 a.m. romp in the frosty grass. Isn't that right, kitty? Oh, I haven't pulled this back. There we go. Oh, kitty. Oh, fuck. Yes, how are you? It is cold. I know. I've got to go and do things before we go inside. And kitty. Yeah. Okay, you can see even the weeds. This is pot of lavender. It has some of this in it and some of that in it. Neither of which is supposed to be in the pot of lavender. I have to weed the pot of lavender. Over here, there's some foxgloves. But later I'll 
take that off and hope the frost didn't uh, damage the uh, lobster claw. Okay, breakfast for cats and dogs. Isn't that the order of the day? Yeah? Look at this. The sun has come up. So I'm kicking myself that I didn't protect these tender hydrangeas from the frost. You can see already they're frost hit, but the sun is hitting them. You can see these top ones are um, frosted. And this is when the cells expand under the frost and that's how the leaves are killed. The cells are like, oh, yippee, sun, yay of the tender plants and that's what kills their leaves is their photosynthesis capacity as the sun hits them and hardy plants have a kind of if you will anti-freeze in their system but tender plants like this hydrangea don't so like daffodils do tulips do hellebores definitely do they're a hardy thing but um, these hydrangeas aren't so necessarily. So here's hoping that uh, this frost doesn't do in these leaves. I should have covered them up. Anyway, you ready for breakfast? Should we go get breakfast? Good dogs. Good dogs. Yeah. Breakfast time.